Hello, everybody. Uh, this is the engagement team with Mountain Lake PBS. I am Jen. Hi, I'm Logan. And I'm Will. Thank you for being with us. We are going to show you a little project that we've been working on. Um, we are calling this My Own Museum at Home. So what we have done here is that we have, we've decided that we all miss going to museums and miss participating in, in these sort of cultural activities. But we figure, you know, museums are big buildings that are collections of lots of objects. And we decided that our homes are a little bit like that too. We have all kinds of objects that we've spent years collecting. So we thought that we would take a few minutes and share some of our own collections with you. And we hope that you'll join us and share your museum at home as well. So I have, as you can see here on my wall, I've labeled a couple different items that I have selected for my museum. I'm just going to show you one of them for now though. So this is a kaleidoscope. Look, I also made these little museum labels too. So this is a kaleidoscope. Let me stick this on my music stand here. Uh, this is a kaleidoscope that I got in Jerome, Arizona. My husband and I were on a road trip uh, from Las Vegas to the Grand Canyon and through Arizona. We stopped in this town called Jerome, which is an old mining town, and it turned into a ghost town at one point. And then in the 60s and 70s, all the hippies and artists moved in because land was super duper cheap. So now it's this really cool, funky, weird place that has probably like 500 residents. Um, we spent a night there and it was really fun and they had a whole store entirely devoted to kaleidoscopes. They were all crazy expensive so I bought this tiny 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 one <laughs> uh, and it's full of dried flowers. I don't know if you can see those very well um, but when you look through it it is these very beautiful patterns. Whoa, so cool. that is my my own museum at home. Logan what do you have? Well, Jen, I've got a couple things too. I don't have such cool labels, so I'll have to tell you all about it. But I picked out a couple things. Got this great mug that one of the local artists from the Strand Center for the Cultural Arts made. I got this at a fundraiser earlier this year and I love drinking tea and coffee out of it. I've also got an old backgammon game that my grandfather gave to my mother who gave it to me. And I'm not very good at it, so I have a cheat sheet on how to set up the board every time. Don't tell my mom. <laughs> but the thing I really want to show off is this collection of postcards that I've put together. So I'll try and bring this close so that everybody can see. But I've got three postcards on here. And if you can tell, move it away from the glare. If you can tell, each of these are from the same place in the city of Plattsburgh. For those of us who live here or who are familiar with it, that's the Amtrak train station off in the corner. And each of them is from a different year in history. So the first one is from 1904. The second is from 1926. And the last one is from 1975. And you can tell because there's a little mark in the corner of this one that gives the date. It's a stamp. And then if we turn this around, we've actually made cutouts on the back of the frame that show you the postmaster stamp and the dates, which I think is pretty cool. And one of those fun things that I like to look for too, is if you look at the bottom picture, the bottom postcard, and that's from 1975, right? What kind of cars are those? They all look like they're from the 60s or 70s. Has anybody seen those in real life? They're pretty that's, awesome. That's one of my favorite buildings in Plattsburgh. That's really cool, Logan. Yeah, thanks for letting me share, guys. Will, what do you have for us? That is super cool. Uh, all right, so not to break the fourth wall here, but I am in the office. <laughs> I have I have appropriately titled uh, my museum exhibit "Stuff from My Walls" because I pulled all this off my walls. <laughs> so I have first off this. Uh, this is a gift that my girlfriend Kayla made. She took a Monopoly board. And because if you, I don't know, there's no way to tell, but I like baseball. Um, <laughs> she took it, she painted over all the properties uh, with different teams. And this whole thing here is that she painted this all by hand, made little, uh, the, know, the figures, the pieces. She made those out of clay, customized them. And so I keep this in a frame on my wall because she refuses to play Monopoly with me. I can't blame her. <laughs> it just takes way too long. <laughs> and I have this, 
which is some nice, uh, it, there's a story behind this. Um, we did a story in 2017, late 2016. It was one of my first shoots as an intern. Um, it, we went to Montreal, uh, me and Paul and a videographer, and there was an artist, Philippe Van Eatvalt, and he made this contraption where he connected syringes filled with paint to a piano. So as you played the piano, every time you hit a note, it put another drop of paint onto a tile like this. So this is one of his test tiles and each drop of paint is from a different note on the piano. That was such a cool story. Wow, that's awesome very that cool. you had to keep a part of that too. That's really great. Yeah, it was very cool. And I'm glad that I have something, uh, a memory of one of my first shoots. That's really fun. Logan and Will, thank you for sharing your museums with me. That was awesome. Uh, if you at home enjoyed this, I hope that you would like to participate too. It's super easy to do. You can take a little video like this one, or if you'd like to, you can take a few snapshots and send us some pictures with a little description, however you like to. Share it with us on social media using the hashtag myownmuseum, or you can send us an email. So if you'd like to participate, we can't wait to hear from you. Thank you everybody for joining us. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye.